Hi, Leo. Getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what is going on for you. What are your messages, Leo? What do you need to know? All right. Leo, Leo message. Oh, there we go. So you have the success card also. Angel, woman, okay. Anything else? Okay. We have romances in the air. I'm flying off to the side and stepping into a new experience. You have an angel. So maybe you have a feminine energy, a woman who's in spirit form who may be looking over you. But it's a spirit guidance, protection from harm. A woman is here. We also have new creative ideas, a new venture or fresh start because things will not always be this way. Things are changing. Success and compliments from an admirer. Hmm. All right, let's see what is going on for you. What is romances in the air with a stepping into a new experience? Nine of cups, meeting somebody new, could be dating somebody new here. Ten of cups, oh wow, maybe you get married to this person or something. Uh, the two of you could be could be together for a long time. The six of cups didn't want to go back in, so I'm going to take that and put that there. Could be past life soulmate. Who is this woman? Choosing something new. Just looking at the past, waiting for something. There's communication. You make it communication from a woman. This could be love. This could be work. Four of wands. Ace of wands. Someone attractive. Someone is attracted to you. Why do I get painting or houses or something as well? But four of wands, ace of wands, a new fresh start, a beach house, or moving someplace new. Let's put an admirer. Four of cups, the chariot. Okay. I don't know, maybe you won't like these particular comments from someone. It says, compliments from an admirer. What's funny is it doesn't look like you like those compliments, but um, that's okay. That happens, right? So why do I feel like there's a vacation for some of you coming up or a move? Communication from a past woman also. Some of you could be dating women. Um, what is the success? It's Ten of coins. Wow. Okay. And show me spiritual guidance then from protection from harm. Five of coins. The lovers. All right, there definitely seems to be someone in your energy that is coming in or around you that, I don't know, spirit doesn't like them. They could be cheesy. They could be a Cancer, possibly, or Gemini, but they don't need to be. Just, it looks like spirit, there's one person here that is romantic. There's someone here that you like. There's someone here, but also another person who's coming back. Maybe they're fake or phony. It doesn't have to be necessarily love the compliments from an admirer. Maybe it's um, someone, again, being, being fake, judgment. Page of coins, someone who thinks about you. You definitely have somebody coming back in though, an ex in some way. Okay, just so heads up. But it doesn't look like it's someone that you are going to necessarily pursue, but that's not written in stone, okay? It just kind of looks like you're a little bit annoyed with this person. I see something else here around family, love, friends, traveling, homes, vacations, ace of wands, um, being happy, success with the ten of pentacles, ace of cups, so success. Something long-term. Love is showing up in a couple of the signs definitely today um, in the readings. So new love, it could be a past person, new person. So just, you know, but it is kind of showing, it's saying, it's showing you're stepping into a new experience with romance. So it means you could be with someone who's very romantic, shares their feelings, tells you how they feel, compliments you. Um, it's funny because it does say compliments from an admirer over here, but... Hey, maybe maybe you're not used to that. Maybe you kind of feel like someone who compliments you too much, you feel like it's not real. So maybe you're going to meet someone who also just like lights you up physically, sexually, like every in every which way. Something new. Uh, again, if you're going on any sort of, I don't want to say vacation, because a lot of times those are kind of like fling energies. This feels like something like family vibe, uh, visiting Cape Cod, visiting the ocean, visiting someplace on the east coast here up north i live on the west coast somebody's going over there and i i can't i'm not sure if it's maine it feels like it's a coastal city that's one thing i'm getting for someone what is your advice 
deepening. A relationship will finally deepen in the next few months. But there is communication here, so that's what it looks like. And the deepening of a connection. Take a leap of faith and go for it. Some of you, this is definitely, you date women. This is a woman for some of you. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a really good connection. It is clicks. You guys just really get along. Okay, we also have law of attraction. You attracted this. You've been manifesting this relationship. So whether it's masculine, feminine, whoever you date, it's um, coming in. Oh, here comes my dog. Leave your fears behind. Yeah. There's... Oh, your fears are, your fears could stop this relationship from blossoming. Just, you know, leave your fears behind and just pay attention to the signs. So spirit is trying to bring you towards someone. An offer here, because this is spirit guidance angel. And again, do some of you have an energy around you that you feel is feminine? A grandmother, an aunt, a sister, a friend who's passed, who is trying to guide you? I feel like it's uh, someone specific trying to get you to notice the signs. So be aware of them. You may find coins on the ground too. They're trying to bring you together with someone I feel and you're not really catching on or noticing at this moment, but we'll make it happen. Let's go to this deck. Some of you won't be alone for much longer. Minnetonka or Wanatonka, I don't know the name, but they're like showing me, I'm hearing kind of like a name. Minnetonka, okay, there's a deep knowing that the feminine energy, there's definitely a strong feminine energy in your reading. Now this could be you, if you're a feminine energy watching this. That's a higher power. I told you, you guys, you have a female who's in spirit form um, trying to navigate you, trying to show you things. So a lot of you know who this is, but this person's presence is around you right now very strongly. This person cares about you a lot. For some of you, I feel like it's a, it's a fun vibe. Others of you, it's more of like a motherly vibe. So, because for some of you, this person is, was very stern in real life. Others of you know it was more playful. So I can tell there's obviously more than one energy because there's more than one of you viewing. But okay, higher power. This is faded, trying to show you something that's meant to be, something that's faded. And it definitely has something to do with homes. Houses moving property, vacationing, B&B, because I'm getting this off of like the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, something to do with a home, no place like home, being at home, going home. Something you'd like to be at home with, showing you where to go, maybe looking for a new home. The fates, no place like home. What is this no place like home? death somebody went home someone is in spirit form and they're telling you they're at home they're happy or they could also be i'm gonna say like in your home but i don't want to freak anybody out but they are around but what else it could be a scorpio ending or new beginning no place like home some of you it's maybe time also to move major ending yeah move away close it close it out ace of wands go someplace that you want to go because i'm getting like somebody it says fresh start here a new adventure so it could be moving to a new city, state, country, whatever is uh, going to make you happy. Moving on. Nine of Cups and the Ace of... Oops, no, it was Ace of Coin that was right right here. And then the Tower. Tower's moving to me. But flipped around is the Four of Wands. Yeah, a strong energy of a new place to live or visiting family. Four of Wands, please. Being engaged, getting married. Three of Wands, Seven of Coins, the Lovers, Past, Energy Getting Along. So maybe there was a spark with somebody in your past. Maybe the month of July is significant. If not, you're just looking at the past. Maybe a Gemini. But again, this is like a strong chemistry here. And the two of you just got along. And you're like, I want to go back to that person. They, it could be something like that's outside of family norms or like you want to like you don't want to bring attention to this as I'm getting this could be a same-sex relationship and so some of you maybe this is something that your family wouldn't really re like respond well to it's I'm kind of getting there's a secrecy around it for some of you so whatever the reason is um it's your business I don't even see people actually I don't see people getting involved so but nine of wands 
Hmm. All right. What, what else do you need to know? You're going to find your home, your place that maybe some of you just don't feel like you're at home. Um, no place like home faded. You've learned the spiritual lesson. So there's a lesson here you've learned and you've passed, I guess you say the test, and now you're moving forward. So maybe you've been making other people happy. I mean, the lesson could be a lot of things. You didn't make yourself happy. You did things for everybody else. You, um, can you tell us what this is? You're walking away. You're letting something go. What else? You're going into the unknown. And you're peaceful. You're feeling more at peace or at ease. Or you will be. And there's going to be a relationship waiting for you. You're definitely done with the cycle here. Moon can say or show me that there's things you just don't see. You can show deep emotions. Maybe a Pisces. But I feel like you, you're you coming out of like deep emotions. Like You're getting to a point where like you're feeling better. You're calmer. You're happier. What else do you need to know? Can take this deck. Um, let me do one from this deck. I don't think I did this deck yet, right? One card here. There we go. New beginning and change. So you guys are definitely, definitely being guided toward a new beginning. So be open to the signs, the synchronicities. Um, it definitely looks like it's love and it's moving for a lot of you. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.